I'm sure there's a point where you get tired of seeing these pretty bare bones basic kits that basically mimic that of real life. We're going to go and create our own completely free and we're actually going to create a brand new logo for Arsenal just as proof that you can do this absolutely free without any software like So today I'm going to show you how to do something like this. If you look at the Arsenal logo, it's changed. The kits have changed and we're going to be going through every step that we can to show you how to make something similar to this with free programs. One of the programs we're going to be using today is Canva and it's a great free image editing tool. I highly recommend it. I use it for my thumbnails. I use it to make extra bits of text that I can't get on my editing program and we're going to use it to make a badge today. It can be used for all things like promotional materials whatever you want we use it for the logo so the first thing the first basic thing we're, that we're going to do on canva is click this create a design section up here on the top right hand corner of the screen and go all the way down to custom size and what you want to do is create this basic square thousand by a thousand and then what this will do is leave you with a completely blank square and now, if you're creating a brand new logo for a brand new side, then you can still follow along and you can still follow these basic tips. And Canva does have a premium version, which is like $6.99 a month, or it has a free version, which is what we're going to be basing this off today. So once you've got your square, your idea, if you want to base this off of another club's logo, is to go and find that logo. So say if you wanted to do like what I've just done, which is the Arsenal logo, you would then go and type in the Arsenal logo, click on images and save it as a PNG. I've already got it here. And then what you want to do is just shrink that down and leave that in the top left hand side as inspiration or to go off of because what i did was i created a circle version of the arsenal logo so first simple thing to do is grab yourself a basic circle and we're going to go and make this the color of the outside if you have a look here of the outside of the arsenal logo it's this nice gold color so what you want to do is you can find a an extension called an eyedropper or color picker which will make your life a lot easier than having to find the exact same colors because what you can do is you I can pick a color from the web page and it will let me select the color on the outside and then I click back on it again and it gives me the hex code for that exact color that I've clicked on. It makes your life so much easier. If you haven't, then you can just kind of fiddle around with the colors and select a color that looks very similar. And what you do to change the color of this circle is you click this color square and you click document colors here. You click the little add icon. And from that hex code, I'm just gonna control V that in. Now, it does look a little bit dodgy, that's fine because if you think that that's not the right color you can just click again and find another one there we go we've got a nice gold ish color for the background of the circle so now a simple thing that you can do rather than clicking on elements here and clicking on the circle again is just click this little icon here duplicate it and all you do is change the color and one of the colors we could go with is maybe a blue color um, now you can see that this color is a slight deep blue so we'll do this a different way now and we'll bring that color in to a slightly more beige ish basic tone blue and then what you want to do is just shrink that down and then make sure it's a central position and so now you've got the gold the blue and then once again we'll shrink that down and this time we'll shrink it down a little bit smaller so we've got a white so now the blue goes around the white and that blue is just a tiny amount and then finally one more time for the red we're going to just click on that eyedropper tool again find a red color there are two reds on the arsenal logo but we're going to go with the one on the left and then we're just going to simply copy that click paste and then there you go you've got all of the colors from the original arsenal logo and this time it is it's it's a nice mixture so what we're going to do now one of the things that you can do is you can see the arsenal cannon there what we're going to do is we're going to simply type in arsenal cannon png and then you'll click on one 
and if it's got the sort of the checkered dots in the background what you want to do is save this to your pc as png it will be in your downloads folder on in your files and once it's in your files you just simply click on upload media and then would click like show files for example and then click the one and i've got it here i've got two and so another question you might ask is how do i change the color canva has a great built-in tool called duotone which you would click on click on any one of these and then click these little settings buttons here right in the middle and then we're just going to simply change that both of them to the gold that the uh, canon is and what i like to do is flip it because the Canon was always this other way around until this new badge came out in 2002. So let's just flip it back around. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. And then that already is the basis of quite a, a cool sort of circle Arsenal badge design. Now, the font is something that is pretty hard to get. But now Canva has a lot of fonts built in. And what you can do is just click this little text icon on the left. Click add a heading. Then type in just arsenal as a pretty basic thing change that to white and then click this drop down menu i kind of had a little fiddle with fonts that kind of match the the old arsenal logo and i found that the best one is this one called cs roger it's kind of like a piratey font but i think it's pretty cool and then you click on effects if you want to curve it you then just click on this effects here click on curve and then find the right amount we're going to shrink that right down and when you actually shrink it resizes the font for you which is also pretty handy for you when that's around the what the right amount of curve you can just click off it and it's already there for you now it is optional but you can add in the 1886 i think it's probably best i mean they kind of commercialize the badge and then because we've duplicated that it's going to be curved the wrong way so we're just going to curve it back around that way and then something that I like to add into badges that have kind of been updated and made more sort of modern is add something in from the old badge, just like I've added the font in and turned the cannon the other way around. is to add in something from the old crest now if we bring in the one that i made already you can see down here i've got victoria concordia crescent which is i don't know what it means in latin i'm not a latin scholar what we can do with this is basically add in sort of from the old badge add in something so if we type in crest then it's going to come up with a bunch of things that might say pro or not pro so this one here is a pro crest icon but what we can do is find one that isn't just for simple sake and then what we can do is flip that vertically here with this flip option and it looks very similar to the one already used and then it, luckily with a lot of them the colors up here you can select white and black or the best color to go with is the gold that you had here because then it blends in quite nicely with the rest of the badge and then what we can do is just duplicate this text one more time again making your life so much easier find the red there shrink that right down and just type in whatever it is you want it could be the name of the club it could be the nickname of the club it could be a motto that you have it could be anything simply put we're going to go victoria concordia crescent on this because we're it's like a big uh, and then we're gonna just uncurve all of that decrease the size of it a little bit try and make it as central as possible and there we have it we have it's pretty basic i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm not a professional graphics designer but Canva offers quite a versatile amount of options for you to create logos, anything that you want. And then all we're going to do is get rid of this up here. I'm going to try and make that just a little bit better. 
because the way it curves is a little bit awkward. We're going to get that central. And then what you can do is you can click and drag your mouse at the same time and select all the options and then increase the size of everything all at once. It's all very simple to use. And then what you do in order to export this to your PC is then click this little share icon, click download. And what you wanna do is select transparent background because otherwise you're just gonna have this white on the image. And then you're just gonna simply leave it at 1000 by 1000 because we've got another step to do before you get it into your game. You click download, wait for that image to download once the transparent backgrounds come through, then it will be in your recent downloads folder. One final step is you're gonna create, you're gonna have two copies of this. You're gonna have one that is gonna be the regular logo and one is gonna be the icon. For example, in the game, it is, you know, you've got the big icon that shows up on the club info screen and then the little one that shows up when you're viewing where you are in the league, for example. So what you wanna do is just type in simple image resizer and click on the one that is simpleimageresizer.com. Select your most recent image, which will be this one, for example. Uh, click on dimensions rather than percentage. And all you wanna do is do 180 by 180, and that will be your regular icon, or your regular logo. Then you download that, and then once again, you do that. And then this time you wanna do, say, 18 by 18, and that will be the icon logo. And then once you've downloaded both of these, go and put them in a folder and once they're in a folder, you want to create a config file. If you don't know how to create a config file, I'll leave a link in the description. But the best thing to do is if you've already got graphics in your game, go into your documents folder and you want to just find where your graphics are, like your Football Manager 2022 graphics and find some badges and look at the config file. And all you want to do is copy and paste that config file into the folder with these badges and then change the ID. To find the ID for your club, all you want to simply do is go back into your game, click on the Football Manager icon here to bring up settings. I'm using the Zealand skin, but it, was, it should say FM or something like that. Click on preferences scroll down and you want to click on interface and you want to look here it will say uh, if you've unticked this you want to tick it show screen IDs in title bar to assist skinning and so for Arsenal the number ID number is 602 so in the config file it will say you know you want to change the uh, name of the file and the ID of the file to both icon and logo and it should come up in game like this. The next tool that we're going to be using is Kit Basher. This is a amazing piece of kit that has been made to make your kit skinning journey so much easier than it used to be. No need for Photoshop. This is all free and the community is adding stuff to the Discord every single week, every single day. Stuff to help you and I'll leave a link in the description for a video that basically made this so much easier to use. Uh, that showed how it's used and in the description there is an invite to the discord that will make your life so much easier there is graphics there's other things that you can add into and there will be more of an in-depth tutorial on how to use everything so without further ado let's jump straight into the program and i'll just create the arsenal kits from scratch with sponsors and everything like that and it only takes a few minutes to get it right okay so once you've run this program it is sponsored by fm scout serbian fm it's made by a great guy called nyman and it is probably one of the best tools to come out of the fm community in such a long time so what you want to do is a run this admin as an administrator every single time you open this up so when you search it in you just want to type it in and then click the icon that says run as administrator and then a great thing you can do is import uh, a team from wikipedia and it will automatically bring the logo in otherwise you can change the club badge here and then basically import the club badge that you've basically created so for example like the one that we made earlier or a variation of it we've got that in this top right hand side here and then what you do is you can either just let it create the kits for you or you can manually select out of so many templates. I mean, it's unreal. These are all templates that have been sort of handcrafted to work for you. 
Now, we've gone with, in the ones that we've created on the game, we've gone with Adidas 45. So you just click this little drop down and you, there are so many options to choose from. So we'll just go into Adidas, Adidas 45, we're getting rid of the night kits because the badge can finally be pointing back the way that it used to, the, the cannon. And then there are, with all the templates, and then shorts colour, socks colour, this is all for the 3D kit. Um, you can have it all red or you can go with, say, white socks, uh, white shorts and white socks, which then will basically just mean that they've just got a red top and everything else is white and then the sponsor and everything. So if we have a look here, there's in the sponsors section, there will be stuff that isn't here at the moment. But for the Elon Musk side of things, there are Elon Musk logos that you can add in or it could be anything you could choose gambling you could have say i don't know sky bet as a sponsor so you could have volkswagen voxel but the the best thing about this is on the discord there is so many sponsor packs made by people for you to choose from and all of the sponsor packs could be anything from norwegian airlines to the sponsors of the air Tricity, uh, Irish Premier League it could be you know you, you can make your own as well you can import them but I won't go through that today it's just best that we choose something pretty simple so we're actually going to go with O2 and we're going to choose sponsor color this is a great thing you can actually if it's been uploaded properly you can change the color of the sponsor and we're going to change that to a nice white color and then for the second badge we're going to go with I don't know websites and we're going to choose Let's choose ASOS and that would be on the sleeve sponsor and then all you do is you click generate and once that is done generating that will automatically bring up a folder in your app data in roaming and it's a folder called generated kits and it brings it straight up and that is what the kit looks like I mean to be honest for a, pro a program that's making this for you that looks very good that's some something much better than um a kit designer that we used to have maybe five six seven years ago called uh, simple kit designer i think so this program is leagues ahead of it that kit looks pretty pretty fresh to be honest and then what you want to do is actually like i've got here you want to create yourself a new folder with everything in that you've created so you can then create an away kit as well and select the colors you want to just create a folder called arsenal you want to go into 3d and the best thing that when it creates 3d kits is it will create a config file for you uh, it's not here right now because I've, I've just moved it out of it basically but it will create a config file for you that you then basically want to copy and paste into this new 3d folder inside this folder that you've created here uh, this is just a test number but basically you then want to all you have to do is change the ID of it and it's all ready to go and then the badges like i said you put them in your own folder already earlier on in the video you then want to just copy and paste that folder into here and then the kits again copy and paste them into say an arsenal folder or a man united folder and then under config once again all you want to do is make sure the id is correct so for example for arsenal it'd be 602 or man united it'll be like six something i think and then once that is all together in one file all you want to do is copy and paste this all the way into your documents like we did before into football manager 2022 graphics and you can just paste it i know i've got some of these set up in sort of the right way so we've got kits logos etc you can just copy and paste that fold that folder into this graphics folder and it will automatically show up in your football manager game and it's all amazing if if there are a few things that are wrong the best way to troubleshoot is if it's not showing up in game check that you've got the ids correct check that you've got the names correct in the folder as well and if all of that is correct then it should without a doubt show up in your game and this potentially takes you half an hour maximum if you're new to it sometimes things do go wrong and that can happen if you've done one tiny little step wrong but I guarantee you it shouldn't take you too long and if it does just leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you fix any problems that you've got going on. 
but once that's all sorted you can actually click generate next or generate so what will happen is it will generate one season and you could click generate next season and it will try and keep it sort of similar for the next season so you don't have to do this again you can do this for whole leagues as well but again it's not something i'm going into this is just how to create free graphics for your team so if that is something that you're interested in and if this has helped you it's a little bit more of a longer tutorial today rather than being one of those short concise five minute tutorials down to the fact that i wanted to go through all the possible steps that you needed to get this correct but if you have enjoyed this different type of football manager style video then leave a like comment subscribe click the little bell and have a great day